Breaking news, my country people. Share you Sani reviews the most flundulent government institution in history under Buhari's administration. Guys, this is quite interesting though. Let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The former lawmaker representing Kaduna Central, Shea Yusani, has revealed the most flundulent institution of government under the immediate past administration of President Mohamed Buhari. Niger News reports that Sani, in a post by Twitter, alleged that the Central Bank of Nigeria, the CBN, is the most flundulent institution of government in the history of Nigeria. This comes amid the controversies surrounding the CBN special investigator Jim Obazi, engaged by President Bola Tinibu. Now, we recall that the president has engaged Obazi, um, the former chief executive officer of the Financial Reporting Council, Council of Nigeria, as the special investigator to probe the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, and related entities. But then, President Mohamed Bari in 2017 fired Obazi after he investigated the CBN under the tenure of Sanusi Lamidu Sanusi. The investigation reportedly uncovered corruption in the Nigeria's Apex Bank. Then his recommendation led to the former president, uh, Gulag Jonathan, uh, suspension of Sanusi in February 2014. However, in a twist of events, in 2016, Obazi was allegedly convicted of sexually harassing his former personal assistant, Abam Bilola, Patricia Yakubu, reacting to the series of controversies on the issue, Sheyusani said the CBN is the most flundulent institution in government. If what he read is true, uh, the situation of the Apex Bank and wondered how such could happen under Buhari. I mean, the CBN under Buhari is the most flundulent institution of government in the history of Nigeria. If what we read is true, true the situation of the apex bank then how could this had happened under a man who has historically accused his predecessors of state he uh, haste why how come it happened a man who said he was he would fight corruption with his sweat and his blood a man who said in fact he's out to bring change to nigeria but his own administration turned out to be the worst of them all in the history of Nigeria. Yet this same man, the former president Mohamed Buhari, who pointed fingers at his predecessors, all our presidents before him, that oh they had damaged the economy, they did this, they did that, but his own was far more worse. So my country people, Shay Yusani has revealed that the CBN is the most corrupt institution. And we recall that uh, you know, President Paul Admet Tinibu had described um, the Central Bank of Nigeria, that's the suspended CBN governor, Godwin Emefili, as rotten. Yes, so my country people, he described the system under Emefili as a rotten system. And he got to a point whereby Tinibu started, you know, uh, the, he suspended him and then the DSS came and took over. And we know we all know the fate of uh, Emefili at this point. Some had, you know, have pity on him. Some they are kind of feeling for Emefili over what he's going through currently. While others have stood their grounds that uh, Emefili deserved what you know is coming for him at this point. Because when he was, you know, doing Nigerians, now he thought his day would never come. And at a time, Emefili had uh, purchased a nomination form now to contest for the presidency you know under the platform of the all progressive congress but not really he didn't really purchase the form but some groups actually purchased the form for a mefili 
to run for presidency. But then we started hearing talks about a Mephile, you know, taking money from the CBN to settle some certain people. A Mephile printing huge amount of money. He was just printing money, printing money, printing money. A Mephile and the uh, and uh, the former president Mohamed Bouhari collected loans collected billions in fact trillions of naira loans and then used our foreign reserve as collateral ah ah my country people a lot of corruption really you know went uh was happening under Emefele and the uh, the former president mohammed buari he was using the cbn resources to bribe and to buy elites you know to buy into his campaign for the office of the president he was doing all this so while he was still the CBN governor, he was doing all this while he was still the CBN governor, which is in fact a terrible, you know, act. It is a terrible act because it is against our constitution now. You are holding a political, as in, you are holding a public office and yet you are, you want to run for another office. Emenfele ought to have resigned, but though he wasn't even picked at the, you know, party's primary, uh, primary election. So we got to see that uh, Mephile's presidential ambition died down after he wasn't uh, picked uh, as the party's, you know, uh, flag bearer during the presidential, uh, that's the primary presidential election. But then, my country people, um, we got to a point whereby a Mephile, you know, committed a big crime against Nigerians. I'm telling you. The Naira Redesign Program, Ah, was an undeserved punishment for Nigerians. That's why people are saying, oh, Emefele, what he's going through now, he deserved it. Others are saying, well, Tinibu is the president. Emefele worked against him. He worked against his emergence as the president, where we got to see that Emefele was part of the Asura cabals that tried to make sure Tinibu never emerged as the president of this country by bringing in the Naira redesign policy. Tinibu said the policy was targeted at him. All this is going under, you know, all this corruption was happening under the CBNO. So my country people, um, Godwin and Mephili at then, at that point, printed billions of Naira, but they were not made available, you know, in commercial banks. It led to the scarcity of, uh, of uh, cash, we got to see cash scarcity. Nigerians were running helter skelter. In fact, it was a war situation. Many people lost their lives. Many businesses were shut down. And it was one of the most terrible experiences we've ever witnessed, you know, in our lives, in this country, in the history of this country, one of the most terrible experiences. How this thing happened under Emefile. And the CBN. Emefile, uh, the CBN under Emefile, also failed to manage Nigeria's inflation. That's the inflation rate. He failed to manage it. Our inflation rates keep on going higher, increasing, increasing. So, my country people, the CBN, that's a mephilous conduct at the CBN, you know, could be described as an economic sabotage, you know, sabotage of the nation. And uh, for Shea Yusani to describe the CBN under president the former president Mohamed Buhari's regime you know as the most corrupt because all this thing happened when Emefile was the governor of the CBN and the CBN was under Buhari's administration until Tinibu came and then took over power and uh, Emefile you know was out of the system currently he's been you know persecuted by the cbn over a lot of crimes and allegations laid upon him so guys what are your thoughts on shay yusani's you know revelation that uh, the most fraudulent government institution in our history you know was under buhari's administration which is the cbn under godwin emefile so guys i'm dropping here kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section thank you bye for now